I got an email today that excited me from Dan over at Mission Trailers. He sent me photographs of my trailer completed. So it's ready for me to take over and start turning it into the smart wood shop. So to inspire myself, I grabbed Art, the model, and I changed the color to orange just to inspire me. But this looks all finished and like I've done a lot of work. But truth be told, I am only at this point. I've got the designs or the, the sketch, the PDF that I got from them in SketchUp, but I haven't started modeling yet. So I have really got to get on the ball. I'm working on those shop tour videos and they're taking a lot of time. So I've not spent any time on it, but now the trailer is ready and all I need to do is have it delivered. And of course they're taking care of that, which is awesome. Thank you, Dan, for getting it to me. I just don't know when yet they're working on the date. It's all the way in Montana and I don't have the time to get my truck and go get it. So they've got to truck it uh, to my area and that can happen anytime. And when it arrives, I want to start working. But I will let you take a peek at what it looks like. There it is. I love the color. Orange is my thing now. I don't know if it's because it's techy or bright or cheery. I'm not sure what. But you can see the length of it. It's 12 feet and that is from there to there. It has the uh, extra on the nose. The nose is not a penalty in size because they've got to make the tongue long enough you know, to be able to jackknife and turn. And so they're just taking space that's there on the tongue anyway. So it's a 12 footer. It is wider. It's about eight feet wide approximately. And I've got my big ramp door. I've got the three, the big ladder, big aluminum ladder racks across the top. Here's a front view. This shows an access ladder off the nose so that I can get up and get ladders and planks and storage up there. Looking forward to that. I've got some uh, proctor wall jacks that are big, heavy, long and some planks and long ladders. And I'll be able to put them up there and just easily uh, strap them down. And let's see, here's just kind of looking down the side and the beautiful, they showed me this picture because there's no side door. I don't use side doors. They're nothing but a hassle because I have to, I screw them shut, I lock them and then I screw them shut and they mess up where my graphics go if I, if I want to do graphics. So I am excited that there are, is no side door and then the ramp door, beautiful ramp door. Um, I'm a ramp door guy. I don't do, you know, barn doors, if they would have said, hey, we'll knock $2,000 off the price if you'll take barn doors, I just said, no way, because they're dysfunctional to me. I've had a couple trailers with them and they just don't work. They're, they get in my way and the ramp door just falls down and I'm able to walk right in and out. So I ordered it with no uh, wall sheeting. I'm gonna put half inch or maybe three quarter. I'm gonna, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna sheet it. I, it doesn't matter how thick it is. I, I want it thicker than a quarter, probably half. Um, mainly because all of my cabinets are hung off of these studs. I screw through the plywood with self-tapping screws and go into the studs. Uh, so the sheeting holds a little accoutrements and it's, you know, that's all it's for. But I wanted it uh, open. I put my own in. I'm going to run some wires. And I did, I, I had them delete the, the little uh, DC lights that come in all trailers. I never use them. Uh, and so they, I usually just take them out. So I just had them delete those. You can see the nice diamond plate wheel wells. I'll be integrating those into the new design. Of course, the other trailer art was inside of these, so I didn't have to deal with them, but I'd much rather have the space. And as I've said before, for towing, I actually think the wider is easier, at least for backing up, because I can see in my uh, rear view backup mirrors in my truck the sides of the trailer and I know that the wheels and the, uh, everything are inside of that and because in, in my last trailer my last couple of trailers with the wheel wells out there's no way to see them and a camera on the trailer which I'm going to put on a backup camera on this trailer um, really helps behind the trailer but it doesn't help me see down on the side. I have a lot of designing to do. I'm going to springboard off of art and use that to build smart. This is officially the smart wood shop. That's what this guy's called. And I am going to share with you the process 
of designing it in SketchUp. So you're gonna see me do that, be multiple videos. And there'll be a lot of stops and starts because I'm gonna head down the road one way I'm gonna block first where I'm gonna just kind of block it out and see how things fit. And then I'm gonna break it down and start doing the individual cabinets. Um, and I'm going to use all that I learned from finalizing the art plans to um, make it as modular as possible so that in the future, as I grow and change and my business changes, that I can adapt the trailer without major remodel. Hopefully you'll enjoy following along. And if you want to get started on building yourself a shop in your garage and your shed out back or in your own trailer, then or van or box truck, uh, I also have recently released the art plans, the awesome rolling toolbox plans, which will you will see me springboard off of to build this. And they are available for purchase and download right now. There'll be a link in the video and down below. Enjoy. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.